Give it a good crank. Good morning, Modern Steaders. Today we have a fun, different project to work on. I was talking with one of the Modern Steaders and asked him what was his recommendations to clean old wood that just smells a little musty. We got our apple cider press and we need to clean it up before we use it. So today we're gonna be doing that. David Johnston recommended using 50% white vinegar and 50% water. We got our vinegar. Now we're gonna use some warm water. It's a little chilly outside this morning. I don't want to be using cold water to wash it down with. I just, I cut up some, looks like an old burping cloth from maybe when Olivia was a baby. We cut that up into four sections. Put two of them in the bucket. Before we go outside, I ordered some bags. I'm thinking they're too small, but we'll have to try and see if they fit. Now this to me is just a big piece of American heritage. I just love, I, just, I think of homesteading when I think of apple cider presses. Yep, that bag is way too small. That is unfortunate. I'll be online again today trying to find some new bags. My original plans was to wash this up and oil it up this season. But after talking with Dave and Johnston, he said just wash it down with water and vinegar, let it dry use it this season, and then at the end of the season, this winter, clean it up, oil it up, and then next year, your oil will be dry, and you don't have to worry about tainting all your apple cider. That's a great idea. So all, most of the wood is just unfinished. We just wanna clean it up, it's been sitting around for a while. So we just wanna clean it up, wet it up. Actually, when you're using your cider press, you want all of this to be already wet and swollen and then your table won't drip as much and your baskets will already have absorbed the water so that way they won't be absorbing the cider. So we're going to clean everything up today with this nice solution. We'll let it dry and then before we go to use it, we'll make sure we hose it down with a hose and soak the wood nicely. But this right here is our plan for all of our apples. This is what we plan on doing with most of them. We're going to press them into cider and then we're going to freeze them for now. And then all throughout the winter we'll have some nice apple cider. We'll just take it out of the freezer. We can do different things with it. The stand itself, all this is made out of oak. These baskets, they might be made out of like a birch or a beech. And same thing with the bottom tray. This is one of the first projects in the off-grid outdoor kitchen. We're either gonna be hitting 10,000 subscribers after this video goes up, or we just hit 10,000 subscribers. We wanted to thank you, the Modern Steaders, for that. We're gonna be doing three different giveaways. We're gonna be doing a live video for hitting 10,000 subscribers and doing our giveaway as a thank you to all the Modern Steaders. We'll be doing it around seven Eastern time. What smells? You smell the wood or you smell the vinegar? Just taking my 
my rag and trying to pull it through all the little cracks and crevices and just soaking everything nicely. Oh, I can already smell the apple cider. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. inside the basket now. This is what fall is all about for me. When I think of fall, I think of apple cider, going apple picking, and apple cider donuts. Now I know there's a lot of things that are just regional. What does fall remind you of? Do you think of apple picking, apple cider, and apple cider donuts? Is that just a New England thing? Or is that something that is all around the country and all around the world. I'd love to know that. To me, it's apple cider season, not pumpkin flavor season like the new kick is. This apple cider press is on loan to us. I wanted to say thank you for letting us borrow this. I'm looking forward to at the end of the season to clean this up a little bit better and oil it up to return it better than we got it. Apple cider presses just are such a great big part of American history and heritage. I just think it's something we need to preserve and take care of them. Get this soaking nicely. Let this sit for a little while. love applying oils or finishes to wood. I know this is just water and vinegar, but it just brings out the grain and goldens it up and brings out the beauty in all the wood. If this was a nice tongue oil, it'd be doing the same way, and when it dried, it would stay looking like this. That just looks beautiful. just look beautiful. Oh, I just love the look of that. What do you think, Pluto? Does it look beautiful to you? She's like, I'm a dog. What do I know? I know you know. You know these things. Don't you? You do. You're a modern setter at heart, too. Don't fool me. Once we're all done cleaning this down, I'll go through and I'll show you the operation process of the cider press. We have a couple more repairs we're going to need to make to this before we get it up and running. But for the most part, it's ready to go. Just a few minor fixes. I'll show you those in a minute. Go through and give everything a good wipe down. Look at that oak. That's just beautiful. Should probably dump some water and vinegar solution down inside the crushing hopper. And just get all that wood cleaned up and washed out with some water and vinegar. Wanted to show you something. Can you see it, how oblonged it is in there? Tell me this thing hasn't been used and had some good use out of it. That, that right there just tells a story in its own. How many people have cranked and cranked and cranked, making some nice fresh apple cider. 
not just this apple cider press, but all apple cider presses. If they could talk and tell us all the history and the stories they've had and what's gone on by them, I bet you it'd just be mind boggling. Makes me wonder how many people have gotten sticky fingers from the apple cider press and just the stories and the memories they've gotten from using cider presses. I know for me it just means fall and when I was a kid we'd go to the apple orchard, we'd pick apples, we'd look at the pumpkins, we'd go on hay rides, we'd have some warm apple cider on a nice chilly fall day. We get some warm homemade apple cider donuts from the farm. That's what it reminds me of. This is gonna be so much fun doing this with Olivia and just making memories with her and Gina and sharing it with friends and family. And the water and vinegar mixture is working awesome. You know, the wood sits around just gets a little musty smell. That's what this had to it. We didn't want that in our cider. So thanks Dave, this is working out awesome. Very cheap, affordable, quick, easy, and painless way of cleaning your cider press. And now we don't have to worry about having any harsh chemicals on it or anything. Just gonna dump a little bit of the water and vinegar right in the harper. That's that wood. One of the things with the cider press is you're looking for all the wood to swell up so it'll hold water like it is right now. You don't want it to be dry when you're pressing your apples because then this will just be dripping the cider out. You want it to stay moist and swollen and then we'll have to have this angled correctly so all of our cider drains that way. But it seems to be holding the water nicely right now. We just have a few more pieces that I need to clean right now, and then we'll give you an overview of how the cider press works. Make sure I don't know how good the camera's gonna pick it up. See all the little curl marks? That looks like a curly maple pattern right there. An old burn mark, I don't know what that's from. Bet you there's a neat little story right there. Let's sit the hopper up in place. We have a bracket that goes on the back here that holds this up that we need to put on. And this right here sits right here. We sit it in place. Oh, that just looks, oh, beautiful. Look at that. It sits down. We'll have to tighten that screw up. But we need to get the bracket in place. Put the bracket here and then it's gonna sit. Let me go get a screwdriver and we can install that. Looked like this broke at one point and they had to have it repaired. Does that smell good? What's it smell like? I was just thinking this is the first of many projects that's going to be going on and YouTube videos we'll be doing out here in the off-grid outdoor kitchen. What a great way to break it in is with a beautiful apple cider press. This is just fitting for an off-grid outdoor kitchen project. Screw it in nice and tight and see if it changes at all. I have one more piece that I need to repair before we can clean it. 
it was glued and stapled together and it's come apart. And if I wash that down and get it all wet, it's not going to be easy to repair it. So we'll set this aside for now and we'll finish up the rest of the cider press. It just amazes me how much this wood has come alive since we've just wiped it down with water and vinegar. It's just gotten such a deeper, richer color to the natural wood. I like that. Looks beautiful. I'm gonna rinse it all off with the hose, but before we do that, let's go pick a few apples and I'll give you a quick little demonstration on how it works. Doesn't get any easier for picking apples than that. Right outside the off-grid outdoor kitchen. I could pick some off the ground, but I don't wanna grind up any worms. I'll grab three fresh ones. So you're gonna put them right here in your harper. Give it a good crank. Now that's just a quick teaser, not just for you, but for me too. I really want to get making some apple cider. But that's how it works. We're going to have to go back inside now and order some new bags. So you'd have this lined with like a cheesecloth kind of bag. So all the apples fall in here. When this basket's full, you slide it forward to the front one and that piece that I still need to fix goes on top. You hand crank your hand crank down and it squishes it out. This tray right here fills up with all the cider. Then you'd put a nice bowl or a food grade bucket right here and it catches all your apple cider. I'm also going to need to make a nice long kind of wooden handle that we can put in here to give us some leverage to crank this down. Here's the rain, it's coming. Just in time for us to go outside and wash the cider press. Yeah, they're not ready yet. They're getting close, but they're still not, they're still really tart, the apples. I bet you the pigs will enjoy them. You girls standing out under the apple trees in the rain. We just crush some up for you. Is that good? Once we're all done pressing the cider, I know what we'll be doing with the mash, and they're gonna love it. Now this to me just fits so perfectly in the off-grid outdoor kitchen, and I'm just in love with the color of it, since all the wood's wet. I'm really looking forward to being able to clean this up this winter and oil it down with a good coat of oil. This is what it's gonna look like all the time. And to me, that just screams beauty character, heritage. There's just so much right here. Ugh, I could go on and on and on, but I won't bore you. If you haven't already, we have a website, lumnaacres.com. I'll put a link to it right here in the description down below. Go check out the website and let us know what you think of it. I'm looking forward to getting some apples grinded up, crushed, and squeezed into some apple cider. All those apples outside can't ripen up fast enough for me. We got the off-grid outdoor kitchen built just in time. So exciting. I love fall. We're going to be doing the hand-hewn farm three-day pig harvesting class at the end of October right inside the off-grid outdoor kitchen. If that's anything you think you'd be interested in, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description below. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow. And I want to thank you for helping us hit 10,000 subscribers. 
We'll be doing a live video before you know it. And we'll see you right back here when we go live. Bye.